Welcome back. And today on Chains of Olympus we'll be entering the penultimate lag of the game. And um, personally, this part of the game is quite difficult. The Temple of Persephone. And throughout this we'll be constantly chasing Calliope. But before we head off through those doors she went through, there's a few chests and books we can read. And they're quite insightful. And it sort of shows the motives behind why people do what they do. There's also another book here about the Temple of Persephone. Just saying about... Well, just giving an all-round uh, introduction to this place. And there's another chest here. And they're really giving out these red orbs, so... At this point, uh, you can begin to upgrade all your magics. Because something else should be upgraded by now. Or nearly upgraded. And the magic here is... Very, very useful. As much as I enjoyed this game on hard mode and found it to be quite challenging, um, this current section of the game puts me off completely about doing god mode. But anyway, I must have died about five or six times here before I clocked on I should use my Gauntlet of Zeus, which made things a lot easier. As you can see, I um, punched the wolf and he just stopped moving. But it's just really useful here in this enclosed space. As the, uh, the satyrs are constantly throwing things at us. And you can knock them back easily with a gauntlet. And as soon as this wolf spawns, just get on his case straight away. And these projectile throws are a gigantic nuisance. And slitting their satyr's throats uh, drop. Make sure um, you get a bit more magic, I think. Look like a few more orbs drop then when you... Uh, yeah, more magic when you slit their throats. Which sort of means it wants you to be using your magic. But here it's okay. I mean, you might need to use the Afrit, but... Punching things just works works just as well. And in most of these gauntlet type area rooms, there's always a couple of chests, so they really are just hand them out. But um, in that particular room, or well, that encounter there, uh, Karen's uh, wrath is useful because. The um, damage and it'll hit more enemies because the enclosed space is just useful just to keep them stunned for a bit. And they all seem to follow a sort of a pattern here in this place. You do a big room and then you get to a corridor like this. I'm not too keen on these rooms, there's only a couple, but the angles and, and the, the way the camera is just bugs me because it's really easy just to get hit from behind. And they spawn a bunch of birds which you can just circle take down easily enough, so they're not too much trouble. It's just when the satyrs get involved, um, it becomes a little bit more of a nuisance. And you want to be punching out the um, freezing statues when you can, because as far as I'm concerned, they don't aid me much. Enemies never stand in it long enough for it to do anything useful, and I'd rather not get turned to stone. As you can see there, they can just run up. So your best bet is just to run back down a bit more, just to get a bit more view of the 
area. But luckily these guys aren't too bad, I mean, I've noticed whilst watching this over that if you get hit once by them you can still, you've still got another chance to actually uh, block again and go for a, a parry or just to negate all damage really, if, whatever you want to do, but you're not completely outnumbered here. But just having them combo you can just seriously uh, twat you and do some serious damage. But, like I say, the uh, parry gauntlet is so useful just for knocking enemies back and giving you a bit of uh, breathing room. And after that section we're in a nice little save room. It's got a Resident Evil feel about it. You know, you don't have to fight anything for a minute or so. Get back your health, sort out your stuff. It's not too bad. And in this place I just... Ugh. This place puts me off. The most frustrating part about this game. So, in this room, difficulty steps up another notch. We've got a armoured Cyclops, but luckily, with the Gauntlet of Zeus, we can, uh, we can quickly punch it off, off the Gorgon, off the uh, Cyclops straight away. And that's really one of the more useful things. I mean, at this point in the, at this point, I probably should have switched to the Blades of Chaos to take him out just to make sure I've got um, enough space to avoid him. But the um, Charon's Wrath does a good number of damage on him so he's down quickly enough. So after he's down we've got some more space to take on a couple of the Harpies before another one comes out the ground along with his mate. Which is fun. But Using the Afri is useful, but I should, probably should have uh, got them both close together so I could take out the armor straight away from both with the Afri, rather than one at a time. But at this point, it's actually easy enough to um, just take out one Cyclops at a time. Well, I'm, it's quite risky using the Gauntlet because if you get locked into the three. It, so that's a uh, you just lose a bunch of health, but thankfully once he's down, we only have to worry about the one the Cyclops and these bloody awful harpies. They're actually awful. A constant screaming. But anyway, so once they're all down, you can just get one on one with the Cyclops. But the gauntlet is so useful just for this armor. But I say, I mean, you've got to be sort of spot on with the um, punching if you are using the gauntlet, but if you're with the Blades of Chaos, it's nice to have that space. So after enough uh, bobbing and diving and ducking and weaving, we can uh, poke him in the eye with our sword and be done with his room. I'd say this room's not too hard, it's just trying to keep on top of the amount of uh, harpies on your case as well. And before we leave here, well, there's another couple of chests we can open up. And there's even nice enough to give us a health or mana chest.
and we're in another one of these rooms again. So, as with the before, just get on the um, bird straight away and the uh, freezing statue thingies. And the birds, you know, circle kill them. I mean, I think they can be one shot with the um, gauntlet, which isn't too bad, but it's just so much easier to get that invincibility. And I was pretty lucky there, I probably could have ended up getting frozen. And that's sort of where you've got that time to actually uh, get in a block. And I don't, I, not, this, I found this room easier than the first one. But slitting the throat is the best thing to do. And that right there is the uh, charge up square move, which I don't use often. And for some reason, um, I'm sorry, I think that was the L1 and circle move. But for some reason, the sound carried on there as well. Which wasn't too bad. Could be more of a nuisance if it went on for longer. So the Charon's Wrath again is useful here. Sometimes I, don't, I go through times of I'll try to block all these hacks, and other times I'll just charge in there. I'm still not sure which is better to do. I mean, dodging is useful, but it just feels my way more satisfying to parry an enemy every now and then. And I think, I think in this game, more so than the other games, learning to parry and reflect is way more worth it is a lot more needed especially with that Charon fight with it reflecting it's really good to um, make sure you're on form with actually uh, parrying so that room wasn't too bad although I probably should have sped up a couple of these rooms but um, <laughs> It's not too bad to watch, but um, this room here is quite annoying. I think this is the least favourite part now, even more so than the um, Cyclops, because there's Minotaurs here, two of them, with armour, and they can easily go off camera, and they can easily charge into you. But they were nice enough to put a chest here, which I've used, so... You are quite boned straight away. But this is where you really need to be using the Blades of Chaos because the Gauntlet Zeus won't end well. So if you're trying to stick to the bottom, it's a lot easier. But if they charge at you, that's sort of it then. Be free to useful as well. And that's one taken down straight away. And we can execute him now as well. And we get a nice lot of health from that as well. This room still isn't done because they now to they now need to spawn some satyrs in you. But these are no trouble. If you break out the gaunt of Zeus, you just punch them away. Although at this point I probably should have been executing them for that extra bit of mana. And that right there is a, an, an, an annoyance as trying to grab enemies and just, just that little bit further out you'd reach. And after that we greet with another Minotaur, but 
because of those satyrs, we've got a bit more mana if we need to use in a fight again. Probably should have done it again, it's over and done with quicker, but... These guys. So when they hit the floor like that, that's probably one of the best times to get in there. And that charging is just a nuisance. It's just even after all that, I've still come quite close to death with all that health I've managed to have. And we can execute him finally. Quite an awkward room. But that's finally done. And with that we can upgrade the Kevron's Wrath one more time. Just giving it a chance to hit more enemies now. So it's even more useful. And we can upgrade our Light of Dawn, but don't really need to at this at this time, but we probably won't be using it much, but if you're going I think there's a trophy for actually upgrading all the equipment in the game, so might as well get it done. So we've got a man-powered lift here, and on the way up there are a bunch of breakable walls and uh, doors we can open up to get some more orbs, and whenever we do that we're greeted with some enemies, but they're not a nuisance here. And luckily the lift does stop, it doesn't go all the way down when you let go. But as you see already, there's already got a bunch of red orbs. health boost on the way up there as well, pairing ourselves even more. And I do believe this should be the final gauntletty room here. And got a bunch of gorgons and some birds, which of all the things so far this has probably been the easiest room because these Gorgons are pretty easy to kill. I mean, they seriously go down really quickly with a glow, uh, with a gauntlet. And that's a, another move which actually hadn't happened to me before at all, even in my other playthroughs. And if there's other enemies around, you can get easily smashed. Or if she, if they would decide to follow up with an attack, that'd be me done. And we get another Cyclops here, who, no, real trouble. Just want to get a, um, a free on the go to do a nice bit of charged up damage. So after enough of just having him follow you about, you can finally execute him. Uh, 
and we can take this chest here to get our magic back up. There's a few more breakables here as well. And two more chests and we're currently swimming in red orbs now. So with that, I do believe once this is upgraded, that's all my items done. And the other good news is this place is done with. Got ourselves a nice cozy little checkpoint there for us to a nice little save in. So I'll see you guys next time for the uh, final uh, video, or final part.